I'm sure you are familiar with this iconic intro of Columbia Pictures. You always see it at the beginning of every film. This is the information and the explanation meaning of the logo. For those who are familiar with this iconic intro, watch this. Today's explanation I'm going to talk about is Columbia Pictures. Columbia Pictures is the studio owned by Sony. The sixth logo was actually made in 1992. This is the logo that we are all familiar with in 1992, and that was 30 years ago. That year was around the time when Sony bought the studio, Columbia Pictures ask a question to paint their new logo for the entire film studio of the film industry history. When the question have been answered, they decided to create and redesign the logo for the entire studio. The sixth logo was actually first appeared in the summer of 1993 and that was 29 years ago. 1993 was the year when films have their release dates for the logo to appear in the summer of that year as a debut. Illustrator and painter Michael J. Dees is the artist. He was hired to create the new logo for the entire studio and graphic artist Jenny Joseph was the model she was the woman who modelled for the logo for the entire film studio. Joseph modelled for the logo during her lunchtime during the day. She was wrapped around an ordinary white bed sheet around her. A long blue drape wrapped around her left arm and she held the desk lamp up on her right hand to represent the torch. She uses the cardboard boxes for the steps and she stood in front of the grey long sheet to represent the cloud background. Photographer Kathy Anderson took pictures of the photo shoot in the apartment at New Orleans and Michael created the logo as the reference to the pictures taken by Anderson. Then Dees created an oil-based painting of Jenny posing for the painting. And then the painting was soon animated and digitized very digitally. To some people, they think the face looks beautiful and they are familiar with the face on the logo. To some of them, the face may stood out a lot when some people are younger as kids or some people think it still does it's just because the face on the actual logo is not really jenny joseph's real face the painter and illustrator michael j Dees created a composite face a composite face was made out of several computer generated features and it was made out of computer animation after all that work, Michael finally created his masterpiece. The artwork Masterpiece was first appeared as a television logo in 1992 as Columbia Pictures Television. In the summer of 1993, the logo became a film studio logo as Columbia Pictures. Kathy Anderson did a good job being a photographer Jenny Joseph had not been modelled before and she did a good job modelling for the logo and Michael J. Dees did a good job creating the logo as a painting and a digital work. That is the Columbia Pictures logo. 
if you are familiar with this iconic intro, you could watch it a lot of times with yourself or with a person, just like in every beginning of every film. Thank you for tuning in the explanation. Now you've got a lot of information about this iconic intro.